Okay, so I just ran Geekbench 6 on my Raspberry Pi 5 running Windows 11. Uh, and this is the latest version. So if we go to about, this is version 24H2, which is the one that has Prism, the compatibility layer. So I thought I'd compare it to an older version and see what sort of scores we got. So you can see here 758 and 1672 and all the details are here. Windows 11 Home Insider Preview, Pi 5 Model B running at 2.4 gigahertz and this is the 8 gig of RAM version. And I'll scroll down so we've got the scores. But it went all the way through and uh, didn't crash or anything so that was nice to see. And as you can see here, Geekbench 6. And GPU wise, it says no compatible devices found. And in fact, it crashed out. And that's because we don't have GPU support on the Raspberry Pi 5 with Windows. Let's just try that again. Yeah, it just crashes out. And these are the Geekbench scores on the older version of Windows, so before Prism. And we've got quite a good improvement. So the old version, single core score 716. Uh, you can see we've got 758 with Prism. So definitely quite a reasonable improvement there. And also the old version of Windows 1614 goes up to 1672. So Prism's definitely working, even on a Raspberry Pi. And I was wondering if it was going to make much of a difference on Raspberry Pi. I could see it on some of the new Snapdragon processors that have been officially supported with Windows on the Surface and various other manufacturers. But this is really good to see this sort of improvement on a Pi. Obviously, we still don't have GPU support, but it is making a difference. So this is 23H2. And this was installed using WOR Flasher and uh, the boot and also the operating system is all running off a USB stick and there was nothing extra I had to do with WOR Flasher. It really is excellent. So this is Half-Life on the latest version of Windows, and as you can see, uh, it does work really, really fast. I've been trying to get a frame counter on here, but I can't get one that stays on uh, with Half-Life. It works with all the other games, but for some reason with Half-Life, it doesn't show whether that's with Steam or uh, the MSI one. It just, yeah, I can't get it to stay on there, but as you can see, it's nice and fast. I would just love to have seen how many frames it was using. So I found a version of Handbrake, uh, which is ARM compatible. Obviously I can use the Windows one because Windows on ARM does support x64 apps, but if you can get a native one that is ARM based, then that's much better. Uh, so that's downloaded, let's install that and I'll test it on this new version first and then I'll switch over to the old version, so let's just install that. It does seem to be faster as well, it really does compared to previous versions. Okay, so I'll basically show the same process on both devices at the same time and you can see which one is quicker. So let's pick uh, very fast 4K HEVC and encode. So on the left is the newer version of Windows and on the right is the older version of Windows. And what's weird is that the older version is going much much faster. As you can see from the green line on the bottom left it's, uh, it's quite a bit further through the process. And at 1.45.94 the older version of Windows has finished but the newer version of Windows has still got a lot to go. It's not till we get to 2 minutes 35 that the newer version of Windows finishes. So I was a bit confused by this result. And then I realized something. For the newer version of Windows, I had had the NVMe drive on the base because I was copying a file over, and I'd left it on there. So I was running Windows from the USB stick, but I had this attached. And this is one of the NVMe drives that doesn't have separate power. So I know that it takes some power from the Pi and that seems to have affected the performance. On this NVMe drive, I've actually added power cables. So I've got power going through here and into the drive. I showed it in a separate video, uh, although I, I left the side off the case when I was testing it, but now I've put the cable actually inside the case to make it a bit tidier. But I think it wouldn't happen with that. And I think it's that issue again of 
if you are using the NVMe drive with PCIe, you probably want to use power to the PCIe from the GPIO pins, at least for performance point of view, when you're using more than one drive. So I performed the test again, and this time it was better. It was completed in 1 minute 40.78 as opposed to 145.94. So the Prism version, the newer version of Windows, in the end did perform better under the same conditions. So with Half-Life the performance was definitely much better. Uh, it was really noticeable, it was much less laggy. Uh, the frames per second were far, far better. and. Uh, I wish I could get the frame counter going because I really wanted to see how much difference it was but I'm trying to sort of follow the same route to show what it was like but yeah it, it really was uh, much much better on the newer version of Windows as you can see here I'll just show it full screen but yeah it really felt fast it was really nice to use okay so really pleased with the progress on Windows on ARM uh, I definitely would look forward to trying the Snapdragon processors. Hopefully we'll start to see them in mini PC soon and I can have a play around with them and see what operating systems we can get running on them. I still haven't got a weapon. I need to get a weapon. Ah, uh, here we go. Nice. Now I'm ready. Find a med kit, that. Nice. Definitely do with a gun. Oh, three of them. Oh, there's a guy with a gun, look. Although, is he shooting me? Well, no, because you were shooting me. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Oh, there is a gun in there. That's better. God, I can't get the old jump and crouch maneuver at the same time. Oh. Oh dear. I'm worse with the gun. Oh. Such a great game. Oh.